Hi, I'm Gerald and today we're going to demonstrate how to connect an Ubuntu desktop workstation to a shared folder on Windows Server 2012 and to a shared folder on the Ubuntu server. We will also attempt to connect to the Apache web server to verify that it is working correctly. The first task is to connect the Ubuntu desktop to the shared folder on the Windows Server 2012 machine. To connect to Windows Server, we will be using Simba, which is already installed on the Ubuntu desktop. In order to connect to Windows Server, we will need to select Connect to Server under File Explorer. And to do that, we will go over to the Files application. We'll scroll down on the left here until we find Connect to Server and select that. And then where it says Server Address, we'll type in SMB colon slash slash and SMB indicates that we're using Simba and we can just type in the IP address of the Windows server and in this case it's 192.168.200.2 now we can select connect now it's wanting our login credentials so we'll just type in John Smith the domain is workgroup and we'll type in John Smith's password And I'm going to select forget password immediately since we'll be testing John Doe's credentials as well. Now let's log this into the Windows Share. So we want to try to log into the Project A folder. And we can enter John Smith here and his password. click connect and this will connect us to the shared folder and we want to test John Smith's permissions so to test the read permission we can open the file and to test the write permissions we can attempt to make a change to the file so we can type in this is a change John Smith and when we click save it did in fact save the file and we can check it so this shows that John Smith does have re permissions to this shared folder next we want to log in as John Doe so we can just log out of that and then click connect to server and just repeat the process and when we get to project A we can enter John Doe's information and click connect now to test John Doe's read and write access we can repeat the process we can open it to test read permissions and we can see that John Doe does have read permissions and to test his write permissions we can make a change you just type in this is a change John Doe when we click save if he has write permissions it should save and we can see here that John Doe does not have write permissions and it gives us an error it says could not save you do not have the permission necessary to save this file so this shows us that John Doe does not have write permissions he just has read only permissions and that is what we wanted next we want to use the Ubuntu desktop to connect to the shared folder on the Ubuntu server so we can go ahead and log out on the Windows server and just repeat the process but here instead of using SMB we'll type in SSH colon slash slash and then we can type in the IP address of the Ubuntu server which is 192.168.200.3 and then click connect and we'll enter John Smith's credentials here which is actually J Smith for the Ubuntu 
in his password. Click connect and this connects us to the Ubuntu server and we'll know, we know that the shared folder is in the home directory shares and project A is our shared folder and we can see the test file that we've created before and we're logged in as John Smith so to test the read access we can simply open this file and we can't open the file so John Smith does have read access and to test the write access we can make a change so we just type in this is a change on Ubuntu desktop John Smith and then we'll click save and this in fact did save so John Smith does have write access to this file Next, we can log in as John Doe to test his permissions. So we'll just repeat the process. And we'll type in John Doe here, which is J D O E, the password. can connect and we're connected as John Doe so we'll navigate to the shared folder project A so to test the read access we open test file and John Doe does have read access because we can open the file and we can see what was in the file and to test the write access we can make a change this is a change and when we click save it gives us the error message it says you do not have the permissions necessary to save this file so this shows that John Doe does not have write permissions on this file and we can close without saving here so everything looks good here John Smith does have read and write permissions on the shared files and John Doe does only have read only permissions on the shared files on both the Windows Server 2012 server and the Ubuntu server and that is what we want so next we can test the Apache web server on the Ubuntu server to do this we can simply open Firefox and just navigate to the IP address of the Apache web server So we'll just go up here to the address bar and type in 192.168.200.3 which is the address of our web server. Click enter and it loads the default web page and it says right here that it works. So this shows that our web server on the Ubuntu server is actually working properly. So this completes the Apache web server check and the demonstration of how to access a shared folder on Windows Server and Ubuntu Server from an Ubuntu desktop workstation.